Hey guys, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, maybe it's because I wanted I wanted to be outside for once, you know? It's beautiful weather. Um, I have the heating lamp on out here. Um, my dogs are outside. And so it was like, I just want to be outside. And maybe that's what it is, I don't know. Um, but I'm here. So thank you. Hi, Huckle. Do you want to come up? Jump. You can't get up that way. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Oh, what a good boy. Hi, guys. Thanks for jumping on. Sorry for the confusion. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, Huckle and I are outside, Flower is inside, couldn't tell you why, um, she was out here for a little bit, and then I think she got cold, but, um, it's really warm right here by the heater, so, um, but, no, it's only 9.48 here, um, whoever said that, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's only 9.48 p.m., it's a Saturday night, so it is a very normal time. I'm uh, I'm not avoiding sleeping today. Um, we have a really big day tomorrow um, with church and then visiting family. And then another side of our family is doing Easter. Um, I know it's late, but we um, never got to do it with them. So we have a full day tomorrow, um, but I am not avoiding sleep. I am definitely, um, it's a, a reasonable time. I have motion sensor lights in my backyard, so you're going to see them go off and on the whole time. Um, we're doing okay. Um, today was um, Ellis's first baseball game of the season, um, which I think I've told you guys, but I'm the coach, so I was... Pitching to all the kids. Um, Ellis did so well. So amazing. Um, I'm wrapping up um, a video that I'm going to publish tonight probably. And it's about how yesterday was um, officially five months uh, since Jenny has passed. Um, and so I just kind of made a video about where we are as a family. Um now that we're five months in. Um, I asked Ellis what he felt about that. Um, and he said, wow, it feels like it's been a lot longer. And I said, oh, what do you mean? And he said, it feels like it's been a year or years. And I can totally agree with him. It feels way longer than, than five months. But um, yeah, in, in one end, it feels in, insanely short, like it was yesterday. And on some ends, it feels like it was years ago. Um, and I think that just goes with along with everything that we've kind of endured and gone through since we lost her. So, um, yeah, it's not that I love celebrating, you know, every month that, you know, like an anniversary. It's just it pops up, you know, the fifth of every month pops up and we're all reminded um, that it's another month without her. Um, but, yeah, it feels longer and shorter, but, um, I know she's watching. I know that she's, um, so many signs, um, in the last, you know, you guys saw the, the thing in the sky and yeah, everybody's sharing with me what, what it was and what it was reported and whatever. Great. Love that. Uh, like I kind of said in that video too, it was not what it was. It was just 
the fact that I was out here at that time and the fact that I was looking up and all that kind of stuff. It's just so weird. Um, but then I had a really good friend of mine who I rarely hang out with. He texted me and said, you want to go get dinner? He never got to take me out for my birthday. So he was like, I want to take you to dinner. And I was like, sure. Um, and so we went out to dinner last night. My kids went to Auntie Ashley's house for a little bit. It wasn't long. Huckle, come here, bud. Don't do that. Huckle's a, a, a digging dog. He loves to dig. And I don't want him to not live out his best life and do what his instincts are, but the grass looks so nice. And he's digging holes that are, like, just like so deep and dangerous. I almost need to, like, get him a patch of grass on this side so that he can dig. But such a catch-22. I want him to be a dog and do what he wants, but I'm like, no, not the grass. Um, oh, so I went out with my friend, and... I get in the car and he's like me, right? He's a millennial, whatever you call us. We don't carry cash. We don't carry change. Huckle, no thank you. And I open the door to get into his car and there's a penny on the, I don't even know what you call that, between the door and the seat. And I'm just like, dude, what is this? And he's like, man, I don't even carry change. And I'm like, you see? And uh, he was like, dude, I literally don't carry cash or change ever. So that was cute. And then um, today at Ellis's first baseball game, you know, it's crazy. It's picture day. All the teams are there. Um, so many kids, so many parents, so many coaches. Um, it was a beautiful day. And Jenny would have loved to have been there. And in the outfield, one of the kids who's not on our team, he's on the opposing team, he goes out in the outfield and he's like not paying attention. He's looking at the grass and, you know, doing what little kids do in the outfield. And he goes, look, I found a ladybug. I found a ladybug. And I was just like, okay. Um, and of course she would send signs from, you know, on a day like that. Um, it was beautiful. So the last couple of days have been really positive. Um, I, I gotta say the last couple of weeks have been super positive. Um, just feeling really good about where we are as a family, where my kids are. Um, I feel really good. I really do. Um, Sorry, the light's going to keep going on and off. I apologize. We're just going to stay in creepy mode here. Um, but I haven't had a chance to look at your guys' messages. Let me go through, see if I can pinpoint a few. Thank you guys for jumping on. Um, I realize Saturday night's a good night for me to do these. So I'm like, oh, let's pop on. The kids are in bed. Kids are getting ready for tomorrow. Um, Corrine, does Huckle ever dig up the rocks in the rock garden? So the rock garden's on the front of our house. Huckle doesn't have access to the front of the house. He has full access to the backyard. Um, and he can he's digging away. Um, but he can't get to the front. The rocks are in the front of our house. So, good question. Teresa M., he needs to dig at the dog beach. That is actually an amazing idea. Um, he would be one of those dogs that would dig and dig and dig in the sand. I know it. Um... We do have a camping trip planned in a couple weeks at the beach. Um, that might be a perfect time to take them. We'll see. Um, oh, thank you for saying the, gra the grass is lovely. I appreciate that. Brenda, we love you too. Um, I am smiling. The lights, <laughs> I know, the lights are just like, what's the point of these motion sensors? They don't even work. Um... All right, let me scroll down here. Yeah, Saturdays are good. I don't know if it's... It's never consistent because I'm the worst, but... Um, you know, we try. Hello from Arizona, Susan. Rosie, thank you for saying we're amazing. We think you're amazing. Miss Finch, hi from Joshua Tree. <laughs> um... Yeah, you guys are welcome. Thank you guys for coming on to say hi. I'm just 
you know, purely out of just wanting to say what's up to people. It's a quiet Saturday night. The kids went to bed um, pretty smoothly. Um, they were so exhausted. Today was one of those classic days where his best friend is on his baseball team. And best friend was like, he ran over to me. And I remember doing this as a kid, but he ran over to me. And he was like, so can I come to your house? I was like, yeah, dude. So we had Ellis's best friend over all day from the time our game got out at like 10 till like dinner time. Um, and frankly, it had the kids kind of doing their own thing all day. And I was able to do boring adult stuff like power wash the front of my house and clean my backyard and plant flowers that I bought the other day from, from Home Depot. Um, because the kids were just like taking care of themselves. It was amazing. And I would check in on them. All three of them were playing and I was like, are you guys good? They were good. And I remember that as a kid, like that feeling of having an event on a Saturday and then going to your friend's house. Like I, I asked Ellis, like, did you love today? And he was like, daddy, I love today. Um, and it made me feel really good. So that was our day today. It's pretty sweet. Suzanne, no, not a side job. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you want to hire me, I will poorly power wash your house. I did a poor job. I didn't know how to work it. It took me like 35 minutes to figure it out. The power wash was gifted to me, uh, by a friend and I never asked him how to use it. I was just like, ah, I can figure it out. And then I'm trying to do it today and I can't, I could not figure it out. And then I did. So, um, but yeah, if you want to um, hire me, I'm available <laughs> to do a poor job. Marine Mama 62. I feel like I'm a part of your family. It's crazy. Thank you. I feel that way about you guys. Um, I don't think that's crazy. Um, it's uh, that's that's what's so great about this this crazy internet world. You can connect people from all over the world. Um, and it, it's, it's awesome. You guys are so kind. Melinda, our cat is doing okay. I didn't mention the cat in the other video because she's so, um, she like really takes care of herself. <laughs> um, so I never mention her as far as like uncle Michael taking care of her, but he does. He loves her and she loves him, but I never mention her, but she's doing great. She's definitely showing her age a little bit more, but um, she's doing great. Thank you for asking. She's she's all good. M83, how are you guys doing? We're doing okay, honestly. Um, we're doing okay, I gotta say. Maribeth, what are you doing for the Eclipse? Like, right? I bought my kids Eclipse Safe sunglasses. I looked them up on Amazon. I read all the reviews to make sure they were the safe ones. And I said, okay, I'm going to send these with you to school. And we got an email on Friday and the principal said, absolutely not. Do not send your kids with the glasses. And I was like, what? I was all mad. And then I thought, well, that's a huge safety issue, right? If, if parent A sends a student with the wrong glasses or whatever, and then they're looking at the sun and they, you know, damage their eyes, then the school's liable, right? So... What they're gonna do is they have special viewing tools that they're gonna use, or they're gonna view it online, or they're gonna go outside but they're not allowed to look up. I don't know how safe any of that is. We'll see. For me, I'm gonna take the glasses that I bought for me, and I'm gonna go outside. I have class during that time. I'm gonna go outside and look at it. I won't provide the glasses to my students because same thing, but I guess I can invite them to go outside. I don't know. My kids are almost adults, the ones I teach. So, I mean, but I don't want to be responsible for hurting them. So it's like, but I, these glasses are safe. I mean, I read them online, but I want to see it. The next one isn't supposed to be till like 2044. So it's like, I don't want to miss it, but I don't know. Anybody else have plans? Let me know.
Jacqueline, go Spurs. Okay, I gotta say I'm not a Spurs fan, I'm sorry. I just really like the sweatshirt. <laughs> I just, I'm a big believer in wearing different sports teams that you just like their stuff. Like, I'm not a Rams fan, but I'm not against the Rams. I'm not a Spurs fan, but I like wearing their stuff. So, um, yeah. Jenny, did you ever get the Disney pins that you sent about a year ago? I'm sure we did. Um, I All the pins that we've gotten from you guys who have sent them... Um, I either put them in my special pin collector's bag or I put them on my bag or I have a huge collector like folder. So I guarantee I'm, I'm sure I did. Sherry, thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. Phyllis, can you pick your kids up from school on Monday? I could. It's just, it's supposed to be really early here and that would be almost like they barely were at school. It's supposed to be at like 10. So I don't know. The kids, I feel like my kids will be good. They have a thing planned at their school. It's just, I don't know. I'm getting hot. I might have to turn this thing off. Oh, hi, Flower. Hi, Flower. We were worried about you. You didn't want to come out, and now you're... You're just all up in my space. Come on my lap. That's a good girl. Some schools are canceling school. I didn't hear that, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's such a rare thing. It's like I want to enjoy it. It's like never, it's like not going to happen for many, many years. Yeah, Flower is all up in my space and wanting to say hi. I love you. Look at her. Oh, Flower's a good girl. Flower is so cute. My mom, who works at an animal shelter, um, today sent me another pug that's in the shelter. That is a puppy. And I texted my mom and I said, you cannot do that. Don't send me that. Um, because I can't have another dog but it was so cute and it needs a home. Monday, California, I think it's supposed to be around 10 to 12, something like that. Flower is sniffing me out of this world. What's up? You want to say hi? Now it's getting freezing because they turned the heater off. Um, flower, uh, Julie Flower is, um, how old are you, Flower? Whoa. Flower's like three? We adopted Flower when Jenny was diagnosed. And she was, yeah, so about three. M. Duncan says, I need another pug. I agree. Love animals most. No more Disney clothes. Um, that's really funny that you ask that. I've gone back and forth. Um, I still have tons. And when we go to Disney, I wear my Disney stuff. But um, I've been wearing less Disney out into the world. Um, but I, I still have a good amount in my closet. Too much. Yeah, Flower needs cuddles. SNL. I agree. CC. Three dogs is a nice number. I know. We had three dogs at one point. I don't think you guys ever met Pups. I think Pups passed before. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. We had a really old Chihuahua. He was 18 when he passed. And at one point we had Shiloh, who you guys saw, passed recently like within two years ago, we had flower and then we had pups and it was just a lot in our little home. And so I'm 
you know, Jenny and I always said, ah, three's too much. Um, if we had a bigger yard or a bigger house, maybe, but, but the pug was so cute. Um, all right, Julie's got three dogs. She's trying to convince me. Um, Nathalie, uh, we've been chatting for mm, 25 minutes, so you're good. Megan, you put flowers on your parents' grave today. That's so sweet. It was good for you, but hard. I can totally understand. Okay, Sherry. Sherry's telling me to just get the baby dog. Oh, you can't do that to me, Sherry. Um, maybe. I just don't know if I can sign myself up for that, you know, with how much, you know, with me working all day and... Marine Mama said I got enough to do. I agree. With with the new camper and summer coming up, and I just, I don't think I can commit to another puppy, even though they're so cute. N Bass, oh, hey, N Bass Realtor. Now I know who you are. Um, thank you for the rocks. Thank you to you and your husband. It was so sweet. Um, every rock has been placed by myself, Winnie or Ellis. Um, they were all so cute and special. And I got the books that you sent. Um, thank you. You guys are such a sweet family. I'm so appreciative. And you're so dang kind. Just had to throw that out there. Um, and then you said, what about the Price is Right? So somebody found the Price is Right on YouTube. If you Google, um, or if you search in the YouTube box price is right 2014 president's day um gosh president's day it's called cover up um if you search all that <laughs> i pop up and you see jenny and i jenny was uh jenny and i were not married yet we were trying to win a honeymoon for the wedding that we were about to get married in, in like a month or two. In that video, I'm 23 or four, and she's 26-ish, 25, 26. It's really cute. And we won a car. Um, I won a car. I got on stage and I won a car. So if you can Google that and find it, I found it the other day. It's pretty fun to watch. God the Son, Jesus Christ saves. Hi from Maui. Maui is a place I've always wanted to go. N Bass Realtor. I just got to make sure I say it right. Uh, we love you guys too. We love your family. Thank you. Um, you guys are so dang sweet. Literally. Thank you. Um, Cece, what happened to the car? I have since given it to Jenny's father. Um, it got to be just, it's a great car, great condition. Um, uh, didn't have very many miles on it. Um, but when we got a newer car, I wanted to, Jenny and I wanted to give that to her dad. Um, he needed a little upgrade in the car department. So the car is still in the family. We just gave it to her dad. Love animals most. You really had an amazing wife. I agree. She's the most amazing wife you could ask for. Rogers, Mary, Ellen, did you have to pay taxes on the car? You bet your bottom dollar. Um, about $3,000 worth of taxes. And I was a young, just graduated with my master's degree at a college, didn't have a real teaching job yet. So it was like, uh, I don't have that kind of money. So I asked my grandfather and he helped me. Um, he's a very kind man. Yeah, the garden's unbelievable. Um, hi, Ray and Maris. I We're doing okay. Um, Michelle, you just got your taxes done. I, You guys saw that video where I was trying to do it on my own. It was so overwhelming. I went to a professional, um, and he has since guided me and helped me on a whole bunch of stuff, and we're almost done. Um, so I went to a professional, and it has really helped.
Jenny, I am filming from my backyard. Um, I was sitting under my heater. It's a really nice night, but it got a little too hot. Like I was getting overheated, so I'm just in my backyard. Julie, I did not meet Bob Barker, unfortunately. He's like one of my idols. It was Drew Carey when I was on. Um, so I did not meet Bob Barker. Marjorie, how's the sleeping going? It's better. I can honestly say that it's better. It's not where it should be, um, but it's better. I kind of have this thing where some nights I don't sleep at all, like literally barely at all. And then some nights I completely crash. So, you know, it balances out a little bit. Lynn, summer plans for the camper. Yes, so we're, I've booked a couple beach trips. Um, I've booked a lake that's up by Fresno because my grandma lives in Fresno and I plan to see her. Um, we planned a trip to Lake Hume. Um, and I think one other one, but we are, we are planning a bunch. Michelle, I agree. Whoever painted that camper rock did an amazing job. Um, and Bass Realtor. So 2014, Price is Right. Here, let me type it right here and see if I can find it. Somebody on YouTube sent it to me. Um, so I can't take credit for finding it. Um, she found it for me and sent it to me. I should just be able to give you guys the link, but I'm, I forget many things. 2014 price is right. Cover up president's day. Let's see. No, not three weeks ago. Oh, there I am. Okay, here's what you're gonna type in if you wanna see it, I found it. Um, you're gonna type in The Price is Right, cover up, C-O-V-E-R-U-P, two words, and you're gonna put in this date, 2-12-2014. 2014. Let me know if you see it and you can watch it now. Um, it's pretty stinking fun to watch. You see Jenny, you see Uncle Michael, you see my best friend CJ who's getting married in a couple weeks, and you see Drew Carey, and then you see me on stage. But let me know if you find it because it's really cool to watch. Natalie Brooks found it. Yeah, go look it up. It's really, uh, it's really funny. Ray and Maris, sociology major here. Good for you. Um, you're one strong person with a huge heart. Thank you. I believe your beautiful Jenny left cards for special occasions to come. How can you hold off from reading them, I'm assuming? Um... Well, at first I couldn't read them because I was so broken. Um, so it was, I hate to say it was kind of easy to not because I didn't want to open those wounds. Now I feel so honored and special and like she's with us for those events that I want to wait. Um, and we keep them all locked up in a fire safe, uh, fire proof safe so that nothing can happen to them. Um, and I'm, I feel so happy that I know there are things to come from her. So that's how I can wait. But good question. The date is 2-12-2014. You type in Price is Right cover up 2-12-2014. So in that video, I'm 24 and Jenny's 26. I am now 34 and Jenny was 36 when she passed. Hi, Jenny from Arkansas. 
Love your name. Academic coach. Well, thanks. I appreciate you coming on. Pat, I'm a baby. I, 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 I guess. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not the youngest teacher on campus anymore. I've always been like the young one. And now I'm like, eh, not so much. There's like teachers that are coming on campus that are like 24, 25. And I'm like, oh boy, I'm not the young one anymore, but. Best Hazel, your kids seem so sweet. They are. Um, Tevs, what grade do you teach? I teach nine through 12 because I'm special education. It's not a specific grade that I teach. It's, it's all the kids spanned out. Um, I do have one class that I specifically teach for a subject, English. Um, the rest I'm supporting students, but in that English class, it's sophomores. So 10th grade. CC, time is healing you a little. I agree. Yeah, a lot of people I've talked to in the grieving journey. I've met a lot of people through YouTube. I've met a lot of people in my life who have lost a spouse or lost a partner or lost a dad or a brother or whatever. And they say, you know, you never, you never get over it, but time does help. Time, you know, and it's still, it's only been five months. It's still pretty fresh, but it definitely does help every day. Auntie was on Wheel of Fortune in Australia. Good for you. That's one that I could never go on. I'm bad with words. Look at this shadow. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you say my shadow's complete? Hi, Flower. Would you like to hop on my lap? You have a very... You are looking like you're ready to jump. Come on and jump on daddy's lap. You can do it. I'm, I'm here. I'll catch you. Jump. She's literally like five feet away. Or not five feet, like five inches away. But she's, she wants to be baby. Come here. You can do it. I'm here. Oh, okay. Okay. She's just, she's just giving me her paw. Oh, flower. Just chilling, yeah, in that video, like you literally see Jenny, the happiest I've seen her, like <laughs> in her life. She's so incredibly happy. It's cause she predicted it. She said, they're gonna pick you. You have that personality they're gonna pick. And she was right, they picked me. And um, uh, cause they interview you before you get on the show and they interviewed me and they interviewed her and they picked me. Um, Rosie, yeah, I know, I'm an English teacher. I should be better with my words, but I am not, tis not. Um, sometimes I um, try. Like today, I don't know if you guys play the Wordle thing, but I my students got me onto the Wordle every day and I try and today I didn't get it because I couldn't, I couldn't think of it. You know what the Wordle word was today? Finch. What a small world, hmm? Mm -hmm. And I say that is because um, you know, we've got one of the videos way back, well, not way back. I think Jenny didn't have her hair, so it couldn't have been too far back. We were sitting and she was really sick, really not doing well. And I filmed one of the fountains and you see a bird and I was like, oh, look at the cute bird. And, um, and then people were like, oh, it's a finch. It's a finch. So cute. 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 Teresa, my students are awesome. I agree. Megan watched it. It wasn't it cool. Thank you for watching it. Thank you to whoever found it and sent it to me. Um, Nathalie, you know what? I agree. Nathalie said I have a contagious good mood. You know, sometimes you just gotta spread it. Life isn't perfect but I'm feeling good today and you gotta spread.
good vibes sometimes. It's important to, even though we're going through stuff and sad, we, um, we can still be happy. Rosie, here's my list of self-care things that I do, Rosie. And you tell me, um, honestly. Because I think I'm doing okay. I did, I'm doing the gym, not as often as I'd like. I have my exercise bike that I do at night in my house. I have my basic like yard work that I really enjoy, planting flowers, cutting the grass, pulling weeds. That's good for my self-care. I have my therapy that I go to once a week. I have my Bible study group that I go to once a week. I have my kids, baseball, uh, Winnie's dance. Those things make me feel really good. Um, and then my job, my teaching, I, all those help my mental health. So I think my self-care is pretty good. Where I can improve, sleep, um, grounding myself more, trying to lessen some of my anxieties. Um, yeah. And Bass Realtor. I got to think of a nickname for you because you keep popping up. And I, it's a long name. Um, I was very stressed out that day on the Price is Right. Like, so nervous. And Jenny was so nervous. The funny thing about my wife in that video, if you rewatch it, God bless her soul. I love her. But she would even admit this. She was absolutely zero help to me that day. <laughs> I kept looking at her in the crowd. Like, what do I do? What number? And she's just going, oh, I don't know. She was so nervous. And I kept looking right at her. And she was like, T -t -t I don't know. And I would say, four, five, one. She was like, I don't know. She was so hilarious how nervous she was. And she's like, I didn't want to tell you the wrong thing. So I just didn't help. She was hilarious. Um, it was a funny, funny day. I can repeat it, Angie. Um, if you type in YouTube, the price is right, cover up, two words, cover up, and then you're going to type in the date 2-12-2014, and you will see 24-year-old Kyle and 26-year-old Jenny on the price is right. Any of you can type it in the chat, too, if you want. Um, Sherry, I'm glad this is making you feel better and that you are here because you can't sleep and I'm hoping this helps a little because I agree. Julie, you like the dance I did when I won? And all that is such a blur, like I can't even, <laughs> it was all so crazy, but thank you. Thank you, Grupo, for typing it in there. I appreciate that. If you guys look in the chat, Grupo Horus International, put in the title if you want to copy and paste it. Window to my life. Hello from Texas. Hi. Hope. Uh, thank you. I like the hat, too. S. Smith, we noticed that Jenny could offer nothing. <laughs> yeah, they were like, they were all so nervous. They were like, I don't know. I, and when you're in there and it's the loud music and everything, you're like, D prices don't even make sense. Like, you're just trying. No idea. So, it was hilarious. It was a rush, for sure. Denise, this is live. You are here now. It is 1026 on a Saturday night. You are live. This is not recorded, so... Hi, Denise. Phyllis, I have shown my kids the show as my dogs tackle each other. I don't think they gave a flying hoot, if I remember remembering correctly. 
I don't think they cared. <laughs> I want to say, I'll have to show them again. Maybe now that they're a little bit older, they'll understand. Um, I'm pretty sure they didn't care. Pat, no, I know what you meant, Pat, that I was a baby on the show. I totally knew what you meant, and I agreed. I was totally a baby then. Um, and I guess I naively thought I'm still kind of like a baby in life, right? I mean, I was just talking to my neighbor today. Um, hey, dogs. Hey, Huckle, Huckle, please be nice to your sister. Thank you so much. Flower? Flower, you can stand up for yourself. You don't have to, you don't have to take it all the time. You know, you can, you can say, no, thank you. Huckle, you need to be nice to your sister. Thank you. Um, but Pat, I got what you meant. I got what you meant. Sue, crazy lady. Oh, Michelle, sorry, Michelle. Um... How long did I keep the car? I kept it for a long time. 2014 is when we won it, and I gave it to Jenny's dad in 2023. So what is that, nine years? Um, it was a great car. Cindy, thanks for watching the Price is Right video. Michelle, you tell Huckle. He needs to play nice. You hear that? Michelle told you to play nice. Oh, she's talking to you, not me. Wow. Do it. Yeah, you're going to be in trouble, mister. Jennifer, you love the name Huckle? That's cute. Melanie, you guys saw we went to Oregon, but that's who we got the dog from originally, and her kid's named um, Huckle, and I felt like I had to keep it. It was so cute, so... Um, I can't take ownership of the name. I didn't do it. I can't claim it, but we kept it. We loved it so much. So I agree. And Bass Realtor, how have the kids been? Kids have been good through all of the holidays. Thanksgiving was the roughest because it was only two and a half weeks after she passed. That one was, a, everyone was crying a lot. Um, Christmas was okay. You know, it was definitely empty feeling. Uh, that was still pretty fresh. Uh, but it was, it was okay. Um, a lot of distractions on that day, but then, you know, mommy's touch wasn't on anything. And that's, we loved mommy's touch in everything. So, uh, Ellis's birthday, not a holiday, but in our family, birthdays are kind of holiday-ish. It was okay. He was sad about not having his mom there. Um, what's after that? Valentine's Day sucked. Um, I, it was just a sad day, but Jenny and I loved Valentine's Day, so that, it was just a hard day. Um, I tried to make it special for the kids at least, but... Everyone felt an empty feeling on Valentine's Day. And then I would say Easter was the best holiday so far. One, that was Jenny's favorite holiday, believe it or not. Even though she was Miss Christmas, um, she'll be the first to tell you that Easter was her favorite. Um, she loved spring. She loved Easter egg hunts. She loved, you know, Easter baskets. That was her thing. That was her jam. So it scared me that day. Um, but it turned out to be really nice. Um, it was a nice overall day. We saw my family, Jenny's family, and it was great. So thanks for asking. It was, you know, all have been okay. Jennifer, thanks for saying I'm an amazing dad. It means the world to me. Um, Ray and Maris, I did win the car. Brittany, I agree. It was the best episode of The Price is Right ever. Um, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> it's cool. I don't know who channel that is, who posted it, but thank you, whoever posted that video. I don't know. Uh... 
the Janice, it's actually been five months. Five months uh, yesterday since Jenny passed. Five months. DJ, thanks for all the love. In honor of an incredible woman, I agree. Thank you. Danka, greetings from Canada. Greetings, Canadian. Free flying. You're awake. Hi. Cindy, I don't know the type of camper we got, to be honest. I should probably know that. Um, but it's a cool one. Haley. Oh, Haley brings up a good point. Will we do something special on Jenny's birthday? Absolutely. I'm still thinking of what. Um, a little bit... Not more importantly, but something that's coming up sooner that I'm very nervous for, for the kids and for myself, is Mother's Day. Um, I loved, loved, loved to spoil the ever-loving poop out of Jenny on Mother's Day. So I typically did, you know, huge flowers. Um, all of us made her cards. We would spoil the heck out of her that day. Uh, anything she wanted, anything she needed, breakfast in bed. Uh, just, we spoiled her like a queen um, on Mother's Day. And um, the schools do a lot of Mother's Day type of things. So I asked the kids what, you know, I sat them down and I said, hey, Mother's Day is coming before we know it. A lot of your schools are probably going to do, you know, color card for mommy or, you know, whatever. And I said, when that comes, whatever makes you feel good in your heart, do that. So if it's making a card for your auntie, if it's making a card for dad, if it's making a card for your mom in heaven, if it's making a card for your, one of your grandmas, if it's making a card for whatever, do in your heart whatever feels good. And they both said they want to make cards for mommy, which made me feel very, very good inside. Um, and I said, it might be hard. You may get very emotional. Let... Daddy, no, if you need me to come get you from school, if something's going on or whatever. I just wanted to prepare them so they're not kind of blindsided one day and like, hey, we're making cards for our moms. And both of them get triggered and I'm, and I'm not there. So um, it's definitely something that we've thought about and talked about. And um, we're, we're all a little nervous for that day. But um, Ellis told me we need to celebrate big time on, on mommy's birthday. So we definitely will. Somehow, some way. Love animals most. You were an exceptional husband, Kyle. Well, thank you. I, I really... You know, Jenny and I both prided... Pr prided? Pr we were so proud of being a husband and a wife. Um, it's what we want in our whole lives is to be a husband and to be a wife. I always wanted to be a dad. I always wanted to be a husband and she always wanted to be a mom. Well, there was a period where she didn't, but she always wanted to be a mom deep in her heart and she always wanted to be a wife. And when we finally got to do that, it was like amazing. Um, so we put our heart and soul into everything we do. Um, Oh, good question, Kashmira. You mentioned that there was something going on in the background. Can you share what it is? Um, I could. Um, basically, it's done now, and it didn't happen, so it's not important. I'll leave it at that. It's, it, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it's just, um, it, it's not happening. It's not going to happen, so it's... It's done. 
Um, it was just a short-lived thing, but it's not happening. Um, another thing that I'm a little nervous for is this July um, will be our 10-year wedding anniversary. It would have been our 10 years together, so. <sighs> you know, all these things are going to pop up. Um, you know, 10 years is a big one. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do for that. Hi, Flower, you're doing a great job. You comfy? It's a wonderful spot you picked. Anybody else's dogs dig? Like, dig? Um, she just digs so much. Not in the yard, like in a pillow, in a cushion before she sits down. Christina, yeah, I can definitely still celebrate, and I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna celebrate, you know, because it's still, like, we would still be married. And we are, you know, I don't know. But um, we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna have to. I guess I don't need this phone plugged in anymore. Okay, now I want the heater back on because it's cold. Okay, come on. Ooh, you got it. I'm a failure. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, I almost had it on that one. You know, I don't understand why I can't do this. Maybe I'm out of propane, but I haven't even barely used it. Got it. Let's go. Just takes a little work. Just takes a little time. Have some patience. All right, now it's really chilly out here, so. I'm just gonna put my hood on and hopefully this heater works. <sighs> yeah, we got a lot of snow. We live pretty close to the mountains and the snow is uh, crazy up there. <laughs> Christy said I'm dad goals. Thank you. Uh, I feel like I feel like I am a dad, proud dad. Dad goals. Thank you. Hi, Susan. I'm glad you're here. What time is it in Australia? What time is it in Australia? How far are we from Pasadena? We're pretty close. Not, not too far, actually. Beth, are you going to Vegas anytime soon? That's a very good question. I don't know. We have not, um, we've not had any plans to, no. Good eye, mate. 
Thanks, Auntie. Now we're in the dock again. What's the point? Oh, there it is. Judy, thank you for admiring my parenting. I just, you know, try to do the best I can. I appreciate that, though. Donald Hewitt, 100. What comforted you during the journey? Asking so I can give some advice to my something. Um, what comforted me was comforting Jenny. I always just made sure she was comfortable. And that made me feel good. If I could go to sleep every night knowing that she was as comfortable as I could make her, then I felt good. So if that was... Uh, you know, a massage, if that was making sure her medication was given at the right time, if it was, you know, making her laugh, watching a movie with her, making her favorite meal, it, whatever, that, that made me feel, in my heart, comforted. You know, in, in the back of my mind, I was always afraid, but if she was safe and happy and okay, then, then I felt okay and comforted, to be honest. Oh, Christine, thank you. I appreciate that. Tina, thank you. I try to be kind. Grizzly Gem said, hey, love your live, but I need a grilled cheese, so give me a second. Love that. Grizzly, you go make that grilled cheese, okay? Make it. Um... Even though we're vegan, we eat our fair share of grilled cheese. We use plant-based cheese and plant-based butter, but my daughter can scarf down a grilled cheese. So go for it, Glitzy Gem. <sighs> Good night, Embass Realtor. Thank you for everything. Oh, Michelle's gonna make a grilled cheese now. You go for it, Michelle. Don't let the world tell you you can't. Jennifer, which plant-based cheese is your favorite? Very good question, Jennifer. It is called Chow Cheese, C-H-A-O. Um, I only eat the one that's pure. They actually, they make a pepper jack one too, but like for the kids, it's just a pure, I don't know what they call it. It's white cheese. It's not mozzarella. I don't know what they call it, but it's, uh, it's awesome. And it melts appropriately. Buy ribbon, ribbon. Glitzy Jam is now making her grilled cheese. How do we, how do we? Jenny wanted you to be happy if she left this life. Remember, I do remember. And that's why I try every day to be happy because that's what she wanted. She made me promise that I wouldn't crumble and fall and give up because I've got kids to take care of. I've got myself to take care of. I've got my job. I've got my life. And she wanted me to make sure I took care of all those things. Sadie, how did Jenny get through such bad anxiety for her appointments? I needed some tips on how to get through my own. Uh, many things. Uh, meditation, uh, medication, and... Um, a lot of communication. That could almost be a t-shirt. Uh, meditation, medication, and communication. Um, those are the things that helped her the most. So that would be my suggestion. Everybody's different though. Pamela, thank you. I appreciate that. I think Jenny would be proud. I think she is proud. I really do. K 
Katie C. I do need to do a runway fit check. Um, I'll do it for some spring looks like you suggested. I need to do that. I forgot. But yes. Madeline Cullen, I'm a mental health therapist and I think I'll put that on a t-shirt. Heck yes, heck to the yes. Do it, I like it. Gina, thank you. Tina, thank you. Pembo, good morning. Well, for me, it's good night. For you, it's good morning. What up, CJ? How about a 10-year anniversary spent celebrating hiking around Jenny Lake and Grand Teton? Dude. So that's a good friend of mine. Uh, my best friend. Uh, a good friend. Um, but that's not a bad freaking idea. Not a bad idea. There's a really special, beautiful lake in Wyoming um, where my best friend lives. And it's called Jenny Lake. And Jenny always wanted to, like, go there and enjoy Wyoming. We went once when Ellis was little, but he was sick the whole time. And it, it ended up being, like, a horrible trip. But we want to go back out there this summer. Um, that's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea, CJ. Yeah, Michelle, Wyoming is beautiful. From what I remember, you know, I've only been there once, but gorgeous. Um, stinking amazing. Jerry and Julie, did you ever need medication? I didn't, no. Like for anxiety. Um, I tried anxiety medication and it didn't do anything for me. Nothing good, nothing bad. So then I just stopped taking it. Michelle wants a grilled cheese. If anybody wants to make her one, she's asking for a grilled cheese. <sighs> Crazy beautiful. If you could live anywhere else in the world, where would it be? Oregon. 100%. Or Wyoming. Or Hawaii. But Oregon's so dang beautiful every time we go, and I'm always like, gosh, love it. Jenny, uh, it is a Spurs sweater I'm wearing, but if you missed it at the beginning, I don't like the Spurs, no offense. Um, I just like the sweater. I like the color, so um, if you're a Spurs fan, good for you. I'm not, but I like the sweater. I like it. Christina, are you still having problems sleeping? Absolutely. Uh, it's gotten better. It has gotten better, honestly, but um, it's very up and down. Some days are no sleep and some days are too much. It's 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 weird. Uh, I haven't found a cons consistent balance yet, but it is better. Oh, thanks, Jenny. I appreciate that. The colors are cool. Michelle, how long have you been vegan? Well, this past Thanksgiving was my 14-year anniversary of being vegan. I've been vegan for 14 years. Um, Jenny would have been... Hers is on the 7th. She went vegan in 2007. So 2007, so 27 would be 20 years. So she's on 17 years, 17 or 18 years. Vegan, I'm 14. David's a Spurs fan, oh man. Oh man. 
Yeah, Susan. Um, Susan's talking about those birds. If I could get closer, there has been a couple, two, I'm assuming a male and a female, who have made their home in our tree right in front of our house. And in the middle of the night when I can't sleep, you should hear how loud this bird is. You should hear it. You can hear it from here, and I'm probably like a good 100 yards from it. Rue, would you come to the UK? That is on my bucket list. You have no stinking idea how bad I want to visit the UK. And Jenny did as well. Um, very, very, very much so. Mainly Scotland. Um, I know that's not technically UK. It's above and it's separate. They're their own, they're their own thing. But I wanted to visit the whole UK, do the whole thing. Oh, Christy, what a cute question. What do the kids want to be when they grow up? Currently, Ella says construction worker, and Winnie says teacher. I was like, okay. Um, they both have said doctor as well, and Ellis also has said teacher too. They hear me all the time talking about teaching, so I think they... You know, but uh, right now, as of I asked, I think like a week ago, Ellis said construction worker and Winnie said teacher. Um, and you want to see, you want to see the rock, dude, let's see the rock garden. Let's go. Let's go. Take a walk with me to the rock garden. It might be kind of hard to see at night, but and you can hear that bird. You hear that thing? It's unbelievable. Okay, so here's, this is backwards because it's it faces the street, but um, this is the sign that we ordered for her garden. So that's kind of uh, hanging over the garden. And then if you can see down here, I'll try to show the true, kind of the true size of it. Um, it's pretty, pretty crazy, right? So I'll come down here. So we just added a row here um, with our most recent uh, P.O. box shipment. Um, I loved this one. Look at this one. Somebody sent this Where's Waldo one. How cute. But, um, but yeah, pretty unbelievable um, to see what it looks like. Some of you guys have sent things that glow. Like this Bible back here, this ladybug here. Somebody sent these ladybugs here. If you can kind of see, it's like a spray light. Little light up ladybugs. Um, someone sent this one at the very beginning. This is kind of my centerpiece. And I started expanding from it. Um, there's more ladybug light up ladybugs. Somebody sent this cat with light, a light. How cute is that? Unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty, you know, if you're having a not so good day and you come out to this, it's pretty amazing. You guys, I'm sure you can hear that bird. It's like talking to everybody. But yeah, a lot of people come by and they just, I'll see them kind of just do what I'm doing right now. They'll just look down and I see them just kind of perusing, looking through all the different rocks. And that's exactly what Jenny would want. You know, it's a, it's um, something to honor her and something to remember her by. I mean, she was so special. So 
You know, it's, oh, I can turn on the light. There you go. See it a little bit better there. I don't know if you can see your rock, if you've sent a rock, but every single one that's been sent has been placed in here. We just had heavy rains, and when we have heavy rains, little things like this, this was standing, have fallen. So I usually come out here a couple times a week to straighten things that have fallen. Um, somebody sent these little guys, these little butterflies that are floating. Pretty cute. You guys can always send anything. Anything you want to send, I'll put it out here. Um... We just keep adding, and my plan is to go all the way to the edge here. Um, and then somebody, I think somebody suggested, maybe Ellis did too, we can start going around this tree, which honors our baby Leo. This is baby Leo, which keeps getting bigger and bigger. And then our other tree is to honor our dog that we lost, and we can start putting rocks over there too. So um, they're all here. I have to be honest with you though, one of the rocks is in our camper. Somebody painted a camper rock and I took one rock to work um, because I just loved the heck out of it. So not every single rock in here, two of them are in a special place as well. So yeah, so much love in there. Um, yeah, if you ever want to send a rock, guys, it's um, every video that we publish um, in the description box down below. Uh, there is our P.O. box address, so it um, you can send anything to that address. So... Um, which rock did I take to work? Uh, it's a little one that someone painted, and it's um, little stick figures, tiny little stick figure rock. Um, and it has Jenny on it, me on it, Ellis, and Winnie, and they're just little stick. It's so cute. Judy, I think it is a mockingbird. It totally looks like it. I saw it today. Um... um but that's that that's uh that's it um i'm gonna um i'm gonna go um i've kept you guys i mean more people are coming on why are more people coming on at 11 than they were at, at 9 30. what's up with that um Yeah, all right. Well, I appreciate all of you. Um, I will be publishing a video um, probably tonight, maybe tomorrow. It might be tomorrow, actually, because it's already 11. I've got church in the morning. So um, I'm probably going to go to bed. Um, I've got to sleep. I've got to rest. I've got a busy day. But look, be on the lookout for a video. It's, um, it'll be called something like five months without Jen, something like that. Um, just kind of talking about where we are as a family, you know, five months after we lost her, where we are. Um, oh my gosh, who said that? Infinity, don't forget to turn off your heater. Uh, thank you, Infinity, because I would have. Um, dang, thank you, I owe you. And I left my computer out here, who am I? Okay, you guys are gonna see me turn it off. There we go. I can put my OCD to rest. Cause you guys saw it. It's off, okay? It's off. All right, um, good night. <clears throat> I appreciate all of you. It's really cold. Um, and thank you for always joining me and being so kind and being nice and Thank you.
Go enjoy a grilled cheese if you want one. If not, you don't have to. Sweet dreams. Good night. See you all soon. Bye, guys.